Hey guys, Random Andrew here coming at you far from home. Yes, I'm not anywhere near home today, but I have some special news for you guys. Ever since I gave up driving, let me get away from some noise here. Moving, 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 forklift. I don't know if that'll be any better, but we're out of the wind. Okay, so I gave up driving over 10 years ago. I explained it in a previous magnet fishing video. It was, I racked up some fines and it was either pay off the fines and keep the license or let the license go and afford to raise my kid. So you can guess what I did. I decided to let the license go. I sold my car, stayed out of trouble. Now comes the time where I'm this close to having the license back. Literally, I have a reinstatement fee to pay and then the actual license fee because I have to fast track through. More on that another time. But guess what I've already done? I've already acquired another vehicle. And while I had it in mind to find me a nice Nissan, a 240SX, an S13 perhaps, nay, you could not find one of those on my budget. But do you wanna see what I did find? Come have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the Mini. Yeah, tight space. I wanted to do a nice cinematic shot for you guys. Some music and all that, but that'll come once it's finished. It still has to go through the safety and it needs a little bit of engine work. I'm not gonna say what engine work, but just know that it needs a little bit of engine work. But this Mini, folks, it's clean. Well, it needs a cleaning. We'll have a look at the rockers and everything down here. The whole thing is, it's mint looking at all the door jams. I pulled up the carpet and had a look underneath there. Uh, how do I open the trunk on this thing? I'll show you guys back there. But it's got some moisture behind those gauges as you can see. It is a continuously variable transmission, so it's an automatic. But it's a sport, supposedly, and I can shift up and down. It won't matter. I won't be driving this as a performance vehicle. Here, let's pop the hood. I'll show you guys under the hood. Okay, so if you know your minis, you saw in the back of the car that this is not a Cooper S. This is just a regular Cooper. Yeah, even the shock tires, strut tires are nice and clean. Somebody told me online, look at the shock towers, make sure they're not all rotted out and all that stuff. But for the price that was paid for this car, you couldn't ask for more. It needs a little bit of mortar work. It's either gonna be valve work uh, could be a head gasket, but that's not my job to figure out. There's a shop that's going to this week That's gonna do what needs to be done and then Mr. Cooper the mini that's not its name by the way Will be ready and so will I But I mean, it's a great little car. It's very clean. I Wish I had a little bit more room and a little more light to show you guys properly but there she is. He, she, I don't know. Like, look at it. It's actually a wide stance. So it would be a 2005. I know I'm not saying anything in the right order. But it would be a 2005 Mini Cooper. 1.6 liter. She got about 250,000 kilometers on it. Nice rims on her though. I don't mind them. Touring. Let's get the little spot there. But... You know, it's no 240SX, but I really, really do like it and I'm really gonna enjoy it. To those who helped me get that car and get everything done on it, you know who you are. And also, it's been a long couple of months going hungry to make sure I'm gonna be licensed and have a car. This summer, we've got a lot of stuff to go film. A lot of places we gotta be. And this little mini's gonna get us there. So there's my little quick, oh yeah sunroof so that's my little quick update and my reveal of the mini cooper the random cooper it doesn't have a name yet but we'll think of one let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think give the video a thumbs up subscribe stay tuned lots of fun stuff on the way we'll see you guys soon bye